This is NDTV. And you're watching Classics. When was the last time here on Boss's Day Out that we talked about the concept of food? Or rather, the only so-called national restaurant chain by an Indian company. Our boss on Boss's Day Out today is a man who within a span of 15 years has transformed the concept of food into a business worth 100 crore rupees. Let's check him out. Our boss on Boss's Day Out today is a man called Anand Chatterjee, the man behind the speciality restaurant chain called Mainland China, no Calcutta, with presence in seven cities, and he's trying to lose some weight because he makes sure that everybody else gains weight when they eat at his restaurants. Anjan, good morning. Thanks so much uh, for being with us. We'll let you exercise before we start talking. Thanks Thank for being on Boss's Day Out. There you go, after shedding some extra calories, Anjan is ready to talk to us, Anjan. So, is this a daily routine to make sure that you don't feel guilty about feeding people lots of food? Yes, it is. It is? It is. But tell me, uh, how, uh, why, why the food business? You're probably the only guy who is making money out of food and for somebody who started 15 years ago. Any business for that matter. I'm too, too small to talk about this, but I think any business worth its success is directly proportional to the kind of passion you have in it. So you're and obsessed with food, is it? Absolutely, yes. So we'll try out your kitchen, we'll find out how obsessed oh, you are. definitely. But, uh, I mean, so the food is what drove you thinking that you can make money out of food? Not really. In fact, as you know that, I mean, I started the career, I worked with the Taj Group, I am a catering student, but then I actually looked around and I, I started my advertising agency. There are brands which we built, Cello to Ujala to many more. But over a period of time, food, which was absolutely a passion, not just because I did my catering degree, it was more because of the fact that I enjoyed what my father did. Although he had nothing to do with, sorry, business, he was always a person who would love to feed people in the sense that ensure that people have the right thing, right food at the right time. Like typical Bengali household, absolutely you Absolutely right, you know right. that being a right. yes. So there you are, the obsession with food and the passion for food, that's all that is all about. Uh, we will, of course, not try and get a Bengali breakfast because then we cannot work the whole day. But Anjan promises us the whole day we will continue to see how food is turning into such a big business for most of the entrepreneurs who entered it at the right time in just a bit. Well, they say a secret to a man's heart is through his stomach and uh, who better to talk about it than Anjan's wife at the breakfast table. Meenu, there you are. That's Anjan's wife. Thanks so much uh, for being with us. And here we are. Very healthy breakfast, Anjan. Making sure that uh, we are not uh, going overboard. No, no, not do at all. I hope we don't have a big lunch plan, or do we? No, we, we I mean, in fact, you know, in Bengalis, there's a very famous saying that when you're sitting on the breakfast table, you plan your lunch. And when you're on the lunch table, you plan your dinner. That's right. Exactly. Not your evening tea, though. No, not at all. But tell me, Anjan, I mean, uh, the fact that you started uh, with your advertising business, food became an obsession later on, and we will tell a secret to our uh, viewers that your wife did not know how to cook. Don't kill me for it, but uh, when you came in, uh, now you handle all new projects, largely the old Calcutta bit. But his so-called passion for food, is it also seen at home? I mean, is it a big thing at home also? Yeah, of course. I mean, he has to... It's a big, in a very big way. And what do you mean? Big way in terms of the big appetite way or the... Uh, no, 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 not that. But he is always, he was always a connoisseur of food. And he uh, liked good food, you know, whether it's Bengali or any other cuisine. But especially, he's, wholeheartedly, he's a Bengali. He loves that. End of the day, he wants his matcha jol and pushto. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, otherwise... Uh, How does he get to work so much? Matcha jol and pushto would make people sleepy, wouldn't it? Whenever I have a long meeting and, yeah. and I'm driving down, mm -hmm. and Bombay allows that very well, that's a luxury in so Bombay. That's when you catch a nap. Absolutely. Your daughter is here, so let me just uh, quiz her. Hi, Rita. Hi, please come. Are you as obsessed with food as he is? Yeah, since childhood, we always, you know, at 3 o'clock in the morning, we used to wake up, and that and I used to eat biryani. I mean, all we talk about is sleep, eat, 
uh, food. Drink food. Here we are after uh, Durga Puja, so you obviously have the sweets and luckily not a Bengali breakfast. Thanks so much, Minu, so that we don't get to sleep in the morning. So we'll catch up uh, on breakfast with Anjan and his family and then head across to a series of meetings and of course the chef Anjan that he is uh, claiming he is, we'll check out how good he is. Here we are in uh, traffic struck Mumbai as always and getting the precious time to talk to Anjan. Food is just the latest obsession. You've been an advertiser in some way or the other associated with some interesting campaigns. Yes. Uh, Looking back 15-20 years, it's, it's been quite a journey, isn't it? You know, um, this is one training, advertising marketing, which has helped me immensely in my business. And I think that all restaurants, as you know that, I mean the mother company's name being Speciality Restaurant, it was planned because we wanted to be in speciality cuisine. We didn't want to be getting into anything which is not speciality. Mm -hmm. Even today, you know, from day one, only fish, to Sweet Bengal, to Mainland China, to O Calcutta, to Just Biryani, mostly kebab, all of them deliver one thing at one time. But what is this obsession with Chinese? Why do you think Chinese is... Uh... And you see, I, I personally like Chinese. I've grown up in Calcutta. You want everybody else to eat Chinese? No, because you know, Tangra is the base, you know. Yeah. we've. There's a Chinese legacy which Calcuttans have because the whole of Chinese community in India comes from Calcutta. But you don't think we are exhausted with that because everybody says, oh, now Italian, Thai, French, Vietnamese. You think Chinese is here to stay? Here to stay. So, right, let's see whether this business sense, how it uh, really evolves in various meetings that Anjan will have. But as we said, a bit of advertising as well, the marketing concept of food, which is very, very crucial when it comes to specialty restaurants. But as we go along, we'll see how this is actually taking action on the ground in his restaurants and also he'll also serve us food. We'll see how it goes. We'll catch up with him in his meetings. Tell RA that he has to send one mail to Mr. Shiv Ram in again. So uh, here it is. This is the other part of the business that we've been talking about. Uh, and then tell me, in terms of the business model, uh, obviously advertising is as big as your food business and we talked about the initial public offer that you might be looking at. How difficult is it because there are no set norms in the restaurant business. It is all hit and trial. If you see, nobody has survived more than 10 years. People say the overheads are so expensive. In the year 1991 or so, mm -hmm. there was when we thought about this, we just wanted to get into it was a passion being given an expression and the initial public offer why would you need that and how soon can we expect uh, i think that the food market is just opened up now in the value chain we started from speciality we're going down now in terms of the food courts to in in order to expand within india and also become a global chain i think we need uh, to go ipo so you will do an ipo how soon should we expect uh, i mean i think we're looking at um, a year from now, maximum. A year from now, and you're a 100 crore company, how much would you want to raise then? People say you can leverage that position a lot more. See, I'll be very honest with you that uh, we have not, uh, we, were, we are looking at a dilution of around 25% right. the, in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And, and, and the, the fact that all this money is for the new expansion which is coming up. But right now, advertising it is, and some interesting brands, Anjan, We'll leave you with your meeting and I'm sure this is also an important business for you. Yes, so, yes. Because this allows your in-house uh, research and development for the food business. Absolutely, well. and, and this is a parallel business. We'll let you be with your meeting, your people are here. So yeah, sure. We'll, uh, this Thanks. is a secret business meeting because it involves uh, other brands as well. So we'll get out of here, we'll catch up with him in his chef mode and uh, plans of going to New York and to London. Theory puts that the thing doesn't get you down. Okay. okay. Piece of competition. What exactly, how do you intend taking it forward? That's more important because... Mm -hmm. Are we saying that? Absolutely. Guys, are we saying that? So there you are. The food business is not just about eating. It's also a lot about meeting. And we are ready to head out to the actual eating part of it. But as we mentioned, the hidden talent of Anjan, it's a singing studio right next door. Shall we go outside? Ready? Take a rough low, rough low. Abhi ya, take it, chalo. Are paani, re paani, jik chik chik chik, gir gaya paani, jik chik chik, puri mehnat pe, fir gaya paani. Sell a waterproof gel. Ab mehnat pe, paani na fire, sell a waterproof gel. Shhh, bas. Beach mein music aega, interlude aega, wo sab kar lenge hum log. But yeah, this is the structure of the whole thing. 